Goldbach's and Gresham's Law. Are they related? Well, they both start with the letter G, but will Goldbach's actually cause Gresham's Law to go into effect? Now, before we talk about that, I'm going to guess that a good amount of you don't know what Gresham's Law is. So I will explain, but first, let me explain what goldbacks are. Goldbacks are a currency like no other. They are made out of 24 karat gold. The one goldback contains one one thousandth of a troy ounce, so they are small enough for everyday transactions. Unlike fiat currency, which governments can print an infinite amount of and inflate away the buying power, Goldbacks cannot be manipulated in that way because they are literally made out of gold. Goldbacks are what real money was supposed to be. Now, let's talk about Gresham's Law. This definition says that in economics, Gresham's Law is a monetary principle stating that bad money drives out good. For example, if there are two forms of commodity money in circulation, which are accepted by law as having similar face value, the more valuable commodity will gradually disappear from circulation. But the main takeaway from this is simply that bad money drives out good. Now, what would be an example of bad money and good money? In this photo, there are two piles of quarters. The pile on the left is made up of modern quarters, which are copper with a thin nickel plating. The pile on the right is made up of pre-1965 silver quarters, which are 90% silver and 10% copper. So which is the bad and which is the good? The pile on the left is the bad money because it is made up of only base metals and no precious metals. Therefore, it has very little intrinsic value and is backed by next to nothing. The pile on the right, however, is made out of precious metals or silver. These coins are backed by themselves. Because they have intrinsic value and they are made out of silver, this makes them good money. Now, because these two piles of quarters both bear the same face value, the bad money is, in fact, driving out the good money. Coin roll hunting has been going on since the mid-60s. It's a hobby where you can actually get boxes of coins from the bank, search through them, and pull out the good money or the silver coinage. You would want to keep the silver coinage because it has considerable value when compared to its copper nickel counterparts. Gresham's Law is taking place today with coin roll hunting, but where do the goldbacks fit in? Fiat currency is considered a bad money because it is not backed by anything. These are made out of paper and they're not backed by gold or any precious metal whatsoever. Goldbacks are backed by gold because they're made out of gold. So we have a good money and a bad money, but are they connected? No, because they don't bear the same face value. It would be impossible for them to have the same face value because these are completely different currencies. They're not connected in any way. The only way $100 bills would be taken out of circulation via Gresham's Law would be if there was a $100 bill actually made out of gold at some point in time. That particular $100 bill would be kept and hoarded and the paper ones would stay in circulation but there has never been a gold $100 bill made because the goldbacks are a different currency Gresham's law does not apply here whatsoever if you had both goldbacks and fiat currency you might be more likely to spend your fiat currency because it's losing value year after year and you might be more likely to hold on to your goldbacks because they will maintain their value however However, one is not going to drive the other out of circulation. If there was a goldback made in the future that was not produced out of 24 karat gold, but it contained 12 karat gold, or perhaps no gold at all, but it still bore the one goldback denomination, then we likely would see Gresham's Law take place, and all of the 
24 karat gold backs would be kept and hoarded and all of the bad gold backs would be spent however that is not going to take place gold backs will always be made out of 24 karat gold so they will always be good money now there is a reverse of gresham's law called thiers law and this may have an effect on the gold back at some point in time if you're not familiar with it let me explain the reverse of gresham's law that good money drives out bad money whenever the bad money becomes nearly worthless has been named thiers law by economist peter bernholtz in honor of french politician and historian adolf thiers thiers law will only operate later in the inflation when the increase of the new flexible exchange rate and of the rate of inflation lower the real demand for the inflating money this is a little convoluted but let me break down what they're actually saying eventually the u.s dollar will be inflated away and people will no longer be willing to accept it as money and given the choice between bad money and good money they would rather accept the good money we have seen this recently take place in countries like venezuela if hyperinflation takes place and thiers law goes into effect then it would be beneficial to have some good money on hand and the gold back is a great solution to this problem if you want to watch a video showing off how the gold backs are verified to contain pure gold I will put a link up in the corner as well as a link down below in the description of this video definitely go check that one out because it also shows the anti counterfeiting measures that the goldbacks have in place in regard to Gresham's law and goldbacks I don't think the two will ever be connected in the way that people have theorized they would be however as I previously mentioned I know some people would be more more likely to spend their fiat currency over the gold backs because they want to hold something that will retain its value however I also know that there are some people out there who would be more likely to spend their gold backs because they don't want to participate in a system that is rigged against them inflation is a tax and it is something that you as an individual cannot control but you can protect yourself from it so if you do have any thoughts or comments on goldbacks and gresham's law feel free to leave those down below in the comment section don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel so you don't miss any future videos and remember to share this video with all of your friends and family so they can also learn about sound money and how it beats out fiat every single time